Um, we've come. We've also come all the way from India. Um, I'm here representing our organization, which is called Nila. I'm the creative director of Nila, uh, which is based in a town called Jaipur in Rajasthan, in India. Um, Nila is a a project which has just recently opened to the public, but it has actually been forming over the past. Uh, decade um, and it's been formed on the founding principles that are written here to gather to share and to nurture we're a not-for-profit organization um, we have that privilege of being able to really share our resources share our supply chain share um, our research and that's really what I'm going to be focusing on in the in you know in focus of today's subject um, it's a complex organization and I'm just really focusing on a thread of what we do, but um, I'll try to do it justice. The premise of the brand is the engagement of uh, the traditional technologies of India. So that would be primarily um, natural dyeing, hand loom weaving, block printing, hand painting, um, and all of these techniques which rely on the abilities of people and uh, artisans. Um, uh, we do um, work in a way that's mainly based on networked manufacturing, so we are connected and have a lot of relationships with uh, many rurally based um, communities that uh, primar primarily uh, are quite remotely located and also uh, made up of indigenous communities and uh, we've had um, you know the privilege to travel to those very remote communities and and see uh, you know the holistic lifestyles that they live and um, that holistic lifestyle is 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 one of the main drivers that kind of keeps the work going and and, and informs it I guess yeah, the main, one of the main issues that we're kind of all individually and collectively faced with is the fact that, um, you know, climate change is a very real thing and uh, seeing how uh, the artisans in these communities live uh, is, gives us a lot of answers of what we can return to and the indigenous knowledge that uh, already exists and the, the answers that we already have in hand. Um, yeah, I mean, those, uh, I think those fears are totally natural, but um, I mean, there was one instance where, you know, we really wanted to develop um, an organic thread um, as part of a Khadi Denim project that we were working with, uh, working on for Arvin Mills. And, um, you know, we, we worked really hard uh, with um, an organization called Vardaman Threads to develop an organic thread. And yeah, we were really happy that we eventually, um, you know, brought that into existence. And the fact that that vendor could then offer that as a product to other designers, um, we felt happy about that. Yeah, we felt happy that other people in the Indian context would be able to access organic threads. So uh, direct copying, I mean, that is always a sore point, but uh, other designers like developing the mindset or working with the teams that we also work with, I think there's a lot of richness in, in that. I mean, if we, you know, collaborate with Bondini artisans or we, we develop a block print, and, um, you know, those block printers work with many other um, designers, then we're sort of uh, all connected and we're sharing our, our skills. And I think that there's, there's a lot of richness in that. Uh, Nila Studio runs its own research projects in terms of indigenous cotton research and hand spinning. We're curr currently launched a hand spinning um, research project in Kutch in partnership with an another NGO. Um, and these uh, findings will also be published. It's very important to us to try and work with indigenous cotton 
as Mia has said, um, we try to steer away from GM cotton. It's the easy choice, and we're trying to get to the point where we can be 100% indigenous.